Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we are going to be reviewing The Black Ice by Michael Connolly. This is book number two in Michael Connolly's spectacular Harry Bosch mystery series set in Los Angeles. This book came out in 1993. You know, I have been collecting the Harry Bosch novels since probably the late 90s. And I've got my whole collection over here. We'll pan around through the um, library here and I will bring you and show you. That is right there. That is my entire Michael Connolly book collection. You know, I started collecting everything in mass market paperback. So you can see all those. And then, uh, and then, you know, they, uh, and then I just started getting them in hardcover because they were so awesome that they just, I just needed to uh, get them in hardcover because, you know, the guy has turned into my second favorite mystery writer of all time. My first favorite is Dennis Lehane. My second favorite is Michael Connolly. And if you've been following my channel, my third favorite has become C.J. Box, who writes the Joe Pickett mystery series set in Wyoming. And then I've got a shit ton of other mystery. Got a whole freaking library full of mystery novels here, folks. And horror novels and fantasy novels and science fiction novels. Anyway, we haven't really talked about the book itself yet. I'm not going to say a whole lot. You know, the first book in the series, which is called The Black Echo, I believe that's what it was called. I think, I think it was called, yes, it was The uh, Black Echo. And then book three is The Concrete Blonde. But anyway, The Black Echo blew me away. Just is one of the greatest mystery novels ever written. And I will be tell I will be honest with you, straight up honest with you. The Black Ice is my least favorite of the Michael Connolly books. Um I uh I love everything he does and I even really enjoy this one. However, if I was going to pick one that was my least favorite, it would be this one, book number 2 in the Harry Bosch series. And uh, that's not to say anything bad about it because it's still going to get a high rating. I just love everything else so much better. This book um, starts off with Harry Bosch, and he finds out that um, his um, a, a cop that he knows has committed suicide, uh, last name of Moore, and he has to investigate this, and what he finds is that the cop with the last name Moore, I think his first name was Calexico or something like that, uh, Calexico Moore, and that's probably on the back here, Cal Moore. His name is Cal Moore. I think Cal was short for Calexico. But anyway, as Harry Bosch investigates this murder of this, well, it's a suicide. But every but the wife tends to think that it's murder. The wife of the dead cop is like, I think it's murder. Harry Bosch thinks it's murder. Nobody else thinks it's murder. So of course Harry Bosch has to go rogue and fix this. And everybody, all the other cops are idiots. You know, well. Some of the other cops are idiots. There's, there are good cops and bad cops in all the um, Michael Connolly books. Um, but Harry Bosch often does run afoul of the authorita, of the chain of command, as it were, in, um, you know, police procedure land. And he runs afoul of them anyway, but the, the main, in every book, it's a side plot of every Harry Bosch book. He runs afoul of his chain of command in some way or another. Anyway, he's he's trying to figure out if this is a murder. He finds out that black ice is this new sort of drug that the Mexican gangs are selling in Los Angeles. And so one of the interesting parts of this book is we get to learn a lot about some of the Mexican gangs that work in and around Los Angeles. And they're familiar names to me. I mean, I worked law enforcement for 14 years in Utah State Prison. We get a lot of the Los Angeles gang people you know, sent to our prison, things like that. So I, it's kind of fun to read, you know, when you have a little inside information like I do, it's kind of fun to see the research that Michael Connolly does, not only in police procedure, because he nails it. He's my favorite guy 
Because when he talks about actual nuts and bolts police procedure, he gets it. There's no fantasy in this. There's no made up weird bullshit. You know, in the series, I wa I've not watched the TV series. A lot of you are probably like, well, I've seen the TV series. I have only watched season one of the TV series. And there were some fantasy elements in the TV series that you don't necessarily see in the um, books. For instance, in the TV series, Oh, it just blows my mind. This is an aside. This has nothing to do with this book. This is this is the TV series. In the TV series, in, in, in season one, they've got a serial killer, and, and they cuff him. They cuff the serial killer in the front. Cops, cops, police, the popo, 5-0, never, ever, under any circumstance, cuffs people in the front. They never do. It's just the stupidest thing you can do is cuff a person in the front. You always cuff them in the back. You know, unless they've got a shoulder injury or something, and you still try to cuff them in the back by stretching out several links of cuffs, but you always, because whenever I see an idiot cop cuff someone in the front in a TV show, I just go, you goddamn son of a bitch. And then, inevitably, that fucking person that's cuffed in the front escapes. Ugh! Fucking TV writers! Michael Connolly doesn't make those mistakes in his books. That's what I'm getting at. And so, um, you know... God, I'm out of breath! Oh, Lord, I'm a middle-aged fat man. I can't... I can't rage like that. Like I used to. So, anyway, let's just read the back of this real quick so we can get through this review before I have a goddamn heart attack. Narcotics officer Cal Moore's orders were to look into the city's latest drug killing. Instead, he ends up in a motel room with a fatal bullet wound to the head and a suicide note stuffed in his back pocket. Working the case, LAPD Detective Harry Bosch is reminded of the primal police rule he learned long ago, don't look for the facts, but the glue that holds them together. Soon Harry is making some very dangerous connections, starting with a dead cop and leading to a bloody string of murders that wind from Hollywood Boulevard to the back alley south of the border. Now, this battle-scarred veteran will find himself in the center of some complex and deadly games, one in which he may be the next and likeliest victim. Okay, so... Yeah, it's a good book. It's a good book, even though it's probably my least favorite in the Harry Bosch series. All the others are fucking dynamite. This one is still like half a stick of dynamite. I'm going to give this one a good 8 out of 10. I mean, that's how much I respect Michael Connolly and his books. Because even the ones that are, are, are not as good as the others are still fucking 8s out of 10.